today we're doing a sunrise shoot here in Bali and in this video I'm going to show you my brand new BTS camera setup. So today we're here doing a sunrise shoot here in Pigstone Beach. This is a really cool beach here with this really crazy palm trees all around us. And I'm really excited because we got a great crew today, which is one of my favorite things about Bali because there's just so many creators here. So let me introduce you to them. Oh, watch out for the cow poop. There's a lot of it. So this is crew number one. This is Alfred. This is the second crew member right here. His name's Becca. Nah, just kidding. The crew's over here. We got Nuno, we got Brian, and we got Camelia. Yay! One of the things I love about Bali is that there's just so many creators from all around the world who either live here or are traveling through. So there's always people to network and shoot with. It really helps when you're a solo content creator like myself because then you got amazing people like these guys helping you shoot. So lately, I've really wanted to start incorporating more and more BTS footage into both my long form videos and my short form videos. Because there's nothing like giving you guys access to the behind the scenes. I know at least for myself, whenever a creator gives access to the behind the scenes, I love just being able to see their process, their lighting setups, how they edited a certain photo or video, because there's just so much to learn from someone else's creative process. So that's why I'll be filming more BTS footage to invite you guys in to be with me here on these shoots and learn and see what do I do. Now, as important as BTS footage is, I still don't want it to hinder my shooting because I know myself that if it's difficult in any way, I probably just won't do it and I would just stick to the main shooting rather than doing the BTS footage. Now, when it comes to BTS camera setup, I did have some criteria. The first criteria that I had is I don't want it to be something that I wear because, for example, if I was to wear a chest mount with a GoPro to get a POV shot, if anyone wants to take shots of me, I have this ugly GoPro chest mount on. I don't want that. I want to have the flexibility to be able to film the BTS footage, but as well for people to be able to film me too while we're out shooting. My second criteria is that I want to be able to film both horizontal and vertical at the same time because I want to be able to use this BTS footage for not only short form content, but as well my long form content videos. And last, I needed to keep my hot shoe free because I want to be able to use a microphone. So that was my criteria for a BTS camera setup. So this is my BTS camera setup. First, we have a small rig articulating arm, which is really easy to use because you can just unlock here and then you can just move it around. So if I want to have it for vertical shots, I go like this. And if I'm shooting horizontal, then I can move it to the front more. Then on top of the articulating arm, I have the Insta360 pull. And this is great because A, I can have it at this length, but then if I want it wider, I don't want to go out more, I can put it out there if I want to. Then. The cream of the crop, the best is the Insta360 X3. And let me explain why. Why I love this camera for BTS is A, it removes the pull, so you can't see this pull when I'm filming BTS. And second, because the Insta360 camera, I can decide do I want to have vertical footage, horizontal footage, I can decide do I want an angle of myself or my subject, I can move around with keyframing. There's so much flexibility and creativity when you're filming BTS footage with an Insta360 camera. I'm still unsure, am I gonna add some sort of wireless microphone system to this because maybe it would be nicer to get crispier audio for the BTS. I'm trying to figure out how to get that working. But for now, this is the BTS camera setup. It's super simple, but in my opinion, it's quite ingenious. 